Okay, you guys want to see something very, very cool that you can do in DaVinci Resolve 19. All right, so you can see I have a text right here, okay? And it says blue, and this is how it looks with a push transition, a push left. It's pretty cool, huh? So I can have it last on screen for a little bit longer, and it can animate it on screen, and it's just a really quick push transition onto here. So the push transition, all right? Go to the effects tab, go to video transitions. You can type in push, and then it'll come up with the push right here, and then just slap that on the beginning of your text. Whoops. There you go, and then slap it on the end of your text. And by default, if you open up the inspector in the top right corner, by default, the preset is push left, and you can change it to push right, up or down. And then there's motion blur, and you can add some of that motion blur if you want to. You can change the ease in and out curve to ease in, out, in and out, or just keep it at none and have no ease in and out. It doesn't matter right now, but for demonstration purposes, you can literally just drag a push transition on top of a text, and then it will animate that text like so. And it's such a quick shortcut, and it's awesome. Now, let's say you have a fusion comp and you have a background and the text over that, you know, whatever it is that you're making, you have this and you can do the same thing. Put a push transition on that fusion comp and then this will also animate just like it did before. It's really, really freaking cool. I love it so much. You can do the same thing with the freaking logo. Realistically, want to position this in the top left corner, perhaps? Okay, I can do that. And then I can have it animate on screen, and then I can have it animate off screen. So take it or leave it, really. You know, try it out, get creative, do some fun stuff. It's not just a push transition that you can use. I'll do a barn door on this and see how it looks with the red background. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. So it's really fun. There's a lot of cool th things that you can do. And uh, by the way, this is a video inspired by Mr. Alex Tech. He also went over this stuff and the link to the video for that will be in the description if you want to check that out. And so, yeah, there you go. This is just a really convenient way to animate logos and text and colors on the screen. It's a shortcut and just use it with purpose. Use it with intention. Use it for convenience. You don't have to do it every time, but certainly use it when you can and when you think you should. And you'll be the judge of that, right? One thing that you need to keep in mind, though, just to just to let you know, this is going to help you um, so that you don't get too frustrated because I've already dealt with this and I've dealt with it the hard way. But one thing to know about these transitions, and I hope that you're paying attention to this, is when you are using these transitions over and over again, it's caching itself over and over. Those caches might get corrupted and or other technical difficulties might happen. And when that does happen and the transition is not working properly for whatever reason, you might have to just delete it. I would recommend deleting it and then just putting it back on and then making any adjustments that you need to make and basically just starting over. And you might have to do that from time to time, maybe more often than you would want to. Keep that in mind. It's annoying, I know, but it will happen. It's already happened to me plenty of times. It's happened to other people that I know. It can be stupid, but that's kind of like the risk that we take with using shortcuts to animate our stuff. So it's kind of like a pro and con kind of thing. And maybe deleting a transition and then putting it back on there will not solve the problem. Sometimes what I've had to do is quit out of Resolve completely and then reopen Resolve, and then that will help. So you might have to do that. If that doesn't help, one other thing that you can do is delete the caches. To do that, go to playback next to the fusion tab, okay? It's at the top. Go to delete, render cache, and then click on all, and then delete, and then that should just like that, delete all the render cache. All right, so there you go. I hope you learned something, and if you did, awesome. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will answer to the best of my ability, I promise. And without further ado, I will see you guys next time.